birthday party any 25-year-old would be proud of. But this 25-year-old just happens to be the world's first test tube baby. On this special occasion, she makes a rare public appearance. I didn't really feel special. They just told me that obviously they couldn't have children and that Miss Patrick stepped her and Bob Edwards helped them and that was it really. And that I was, I was born in a normal way, but it was just the first bit. <laughs> A media-shy girl who seems a little bemused by all the attention and, in her words, is content to just plod along. My 21st, I had a party, but um, they phoned up and they actually saw all the press thought I was up in Blackpool for the weekend. So I got away with that one quite well. Louise's birth began a revolution in fertility treatment, initially securing a 3 to 6% chance of success. Today, one in four women can be helped. A figure IVF pioneer Professor Bob Edwards is delighted with, but he's been fighting the critics from day one. We'd have to fight off all our critics, and they were numerous, many. Archbishops, Nobel Prize winners, popes, they all had a go at us. But we had enough supporters, very few, but very precious. There wasn't a critic in sight at the Bourne Hall Clinic. Thousands of parents coming to thank the man who made their families possible. Words fail me. The contribution that they've made to the world is phenomenal. Just thank you both. 25 years on. This proves to the world that it's amazing and everywhere else. I mean, the figures speak for itself. One and a half million babies, I think, there are now. All the babies and children here are only here because of IVF treatments. 1,100 examples of just how far the technology's come over the last 25 years. But it doesn't end here. Some scientists are saying that within the next 10 years, infertility could be a thing of the past. Using research from IVF technology, experts believe they will one day be able to solve the biggest problem of infertility, growing new eggs and sperm from stem cells for people who can no longer produce them. 25 years from her groundbreaking birth, and Louise Brown is now a postal worker and engaged. She tells us if she has problems conceiving, she would turn to the same technology that brought her into the world. Paula Hancock's CNN, Cambridge, England.